Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Ask an Action Coach. If you're a follower of Ask an Action Coach, you know we are in the middle of the top 10 failures in leadership as described by Napoleon Hill in the book, Think and Grow Rich. This has been such a, a, a eye-opening experience for me, Jackie. I'm really excited to jump into number seven and eight. We've been talking about them before we record here, and I, I can't wait to hear what you have to say about them. Excellent. Well, so let's talk about seven. Number seven is intemperance. Now that's kind of an old fashioned word for grumpiness or for being in a bad mood. As leaders, um, followers do not like someone who's grumpy all the time or in a bad mood or negative. They, you know, it's basically people don't follow people who are like that. So well, this is a great time to look within. If you feel like you're, you've been uh, grumpy or haven't been a positive outlook or not a very good role model for your team, what kinds of th things are you seeing back from people when you're grumpy or when you're negative or when you're um, uh, blaming and things like that? One thing to remember is that intemperance doesn't mean you know we should we should always look on the positive side and not really reflect on the things that may be challenges or things that may go wrong that's not what that means it's how you behave right so in terms of yelling and screaming and getting angry and things like that who is that helping because i'll, I'll share with you it's not helping your team and I'll guarantee you once you do that, and then you calm down later, you go, why did I do that? So what if instead of doing that, what if you, as a, as a leader, we, we figure out what happened and what we can do next and how we're going to fix it, right? Because you can't change what's happened. All you can do is go forward. So what is the thing that happened? Where did the system break down? What do we have to do to fix it? And how do we keep it from repeating itself versus getting angry and leaving people feeling not very good about what's going on? Right. So, which leads into number eight, which is disloyalty, which they're two kind of two go hand in hand, right? Yeah. I hear lots of, not lots, but I hear business owners occasionally complain about their team. And as always, so that to me right then and there says, this leader is not loyal to their team. It's interesting because it's almost like the leader wants to complain that their team is disloyal, but that's a form of disloyalty in leadership, right? Exactly. Great point. Great point. And, and the thing about that is, is, is life is a mirror. Mm -hmm. So if life is a mirror and you're getting dis, what you feel is disloyalty from your team, how is that showing up in you? Are you, as the leader, creating the culture of disloyalty? So that's a really great one to ponder. So being grumpy and being crabby and screaming and yelling is intemperance. And how does that affect your team? And how is that also uh, showing up in the loyalty of you and your employees? So lots of great lessons from a book that was written way long ago. Yep. I love the way you ask questions so politely, Jackie, that really could make somebody have to look hard, really hard at what they're doing and how they're acting. So congratulations on being such an amazing coach. If you want the opportunity to have a conversation with Coach Jackie, we'd love to set that up. Um, we can even set up a complimentary business diagnostic to see if something like a relationship with a coach like Jackie would be smart for your business. Um, go ahead and click on the link up above and we will set that up. Otherwise, we will see you next time for the last in our series.